Good morning. I did not sleep very good last night, which unfortunately is turning into a pretty regular thing. But I think part of it was I was a little anxious because I have an appointment this morning. So I'm gonna take you with me. It's only 7.52. It takes 40 minutes to get there. And the appointment's at nine, but I think I'm gonna leave now because it's kind of precipitating out. Slightly frozen precipitation and I've never had to put my Jeep in four-wheel drive It doesn't look like I'm gonna have to yet, but I'm nervous I'm gonna be like on the highway and have to go into four-wheel drive for the first time So let's leave early so we can drive slow <laughs> are totally fine <laughs> so I'm gonna be there early okay I didn't make it to the parking lot but <laughs> I have no idea where where I'm going glad I'm early probably lighten it to cover it then they take 10% off so I was like eh fuck it and I just did it yeah. <laughs> the, honestly what took the longest though of this whole appointment was I asked if I could video the consultation not thinking like thinking it would just be a simple yes or no but she decides to reach out to like corporate and marketing and she's waiting for a response and it was like this whole thing yeah she <laughs> I was like I feel so stupid right now you know Definitely getting whiter up here in New Hampshire. We made it! I hate having to leave my house anyways, never mind in weather, but oh, it's getting so pretty. So pretty out. Excuse me. Hey, sleepy girl. Hey, right where I left you. Thank you. <laughs> I know. So if you didn't quite catch on, that appointment was a consultation for tattoo removal. So I've never done this before, laser removal, um, but I've been wanting to for a while and just procrastinating it. So very exciting. More on that later. But I thought it perfectly tied in. I've been getting asked about doing a tattoo tour for a while by a lot of different people. <laughs> and I've also been procrastinating that. It just feels like kind of vulnerable for some reason. But I felt like it was the perfect day to do it today with this appointment and everything this morning. So let's go do a tattoo tour, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna go through every single tattoo that I have because we don't have all day, but I will whip through the important stuff, I guess. So first of all, what you guys have probably been wondering is what are we removing? And that would be this. And I'm not gonna explain in detail what that is supposed to be. Just know that it is probably my least favorite tattoo. It was part of my whole sleeve here, which 
well the hand is separate but the sleeve was all like hairdressing stuff so this is actually one of my favorite tattoos my scissors through the skull there um, with the rose at the bottom I freaking love that tattoo anyway and then I've got you know razor a tube of color and that is supposed to be a blow dryer long story short hate it gonna remove it so we're gonna go from here all the way to here front back gone ish gone enough to put something else there anyway so that's that arm we've got this hand which is a lion because I'm a Leo that is actually one of my favorite tattoos and it's kind of probably hard to see my knuckle tattoos if you didn't know fearless I fearlessly got that when I was like 19 <laughs> I love that I chose this word I think that as I've gotten older it resonates with me even more than it did at the time. I mean, I was always fearless, but yeah. Um, no regrets on the word. <laughs> Just don't recommend knuckle tattoos at 19 years old. Anyway, other sleeve is more, as I got older, hiking kind of related stuff. So one of my biggest inspirations for hiking the Appalachian Trail and this is going to sound weird because it has nothing to do with the Appalachian Trail, is Christopher McCandless. So if you know the story, Into the Wild, it's a book and a movie about his life. Um, I have a quote from the book or from him, and this is the sort of snow-covered bus. I feel like it's hard to really tell, but the bus that he lived in. And then I've got, you know trees, nature, I lived in Hawaii, I got some palm trees, etc. And then on my hand, that is Mount Katahdin with the lake in front and my finish date, which is September 10th, 18, which is also my wedding date. <laughs> All right, keeping with just top to bottom here, uh, I've got my throat, obviously, that was a new addition. That's my most recent addition. So just geometric design comes down into my old chest piece, which is skeleton hands, like making a heart. And then um, this, which you probably can't read because it's actually flipped. It's mirrored, which is weird, I know. But my idea for that was I'm a hairstylist, right? So I'm standing in front of a mirror all day, every day. So when I stand in front of a mirror, you can read it. But it says, follow your heart, <laughs> which is kind of dumb. Ah, uh, is that lame? I mean, anyway, this is why I didn't want to do this. Um, I guess I'll just turn it around here. So my first tattoo when I was 16, somewhere around there, I can't see. It's initials for a friend of our family's that passed away and I designed it. <laughs> Don't love the tattoo, but it's fine. Like, probably wouldn't get it removed. Don't really care. On this side, we've got my Edward Scissor hands. And then on the other side, I've got a parrot somewhere. The parrot is for a friend of mine who passed away that um, we were parrot heads. We went to a Jimmy Buffett concert together when I was young. And then I'm not gonna take down my whole shirt but there's like a pirate ship and some dumb shit beneath that then i do have my stomach long story short i'm not gonna go crazy here there's some dragons it's not even entirely finished moving down this leg i'm gonna try to get a better angle is a big medusa piece got some dumb shit down here and then on this side, it's like a, um, a skeleton and a girl's face. Tattoo artist's pick. And then my shin. It's just kind of roses filler up on the front. Something dumb on the side. Well, dumb now, but it says, if you don't like where you are, move. You are not a tree. <laughs> And so it's like a skeleton who is like the trunk of the tree. And then on the back of my thigh is just some fun candle, clock, time running out kind of vibe. And on the inner thigh, I mean on the inner calf, is 
another skull, a sunflower, and it says, isn't that nice? And that is a tribute to my dad because it was the punchline of a joke he always said. <sighs> I also weirdly had a tattoo in my ear. It was a B, but that didn't age well. <laughs> I have a few friend tattoos, so this is uh, my friend Caitlin and I. That's with Karen, who used to work with me. We're yin and yang, so she's got the other side of that. I actually designed that one. Oh, I also have my eyebrows microbladed, so that isn't like this kind of tattoo, but they use like an X-Acto knife and ink and like create... Well, she used a tattoo gun also, machine also, to fill it in a little bit, but that's like permanent cosmetic makeup. Let's wrap this up. Okay, do I regret any of my tattoos? Obviously, it seems like I do as I give you this tour, but I really don't. I don't care. I like the look of being tattooed, so if there's some stuff thrown in there that I don't absolutely like love at this point in my life, I don't really care. I don't even think about it. Like when I look in the mirror, I don't see that stuff. I just see myself like this is just who I am. The only reason I'm going through with tattoo removal up here is because if you compare my two shoulders, like I just hate how that looks. That I do see when I wear a tank top. I like how much lighter and like, I don't know, softer this side looks. This side just, yeah, not, not it. But... I mean, I've had this for 10 years. It's not like I was in a rush to like laser remove it. I didn't really care that much. It's more just like now that I'm getting lower on space, like my only real space left is my legs. It's just the knee, the back of the knee, the inner thigh, I already have plans for that. And then I've got the majority of the other leg and that's it. So now that I'm kind of like running low on space, I'm like, oh, maybe I could start reworking some of the stuff that I don't love. So I'm not trying to fully remove this, just lighten it up enough that it's like easy to cover with something else. Anyway, so I don't know. I just feel like people are going to be curious about that. Like, do I regret my tattoos? Because obviously there's a lot. No. Like, am I worried about what I'm going to look at 80 with tattoos? No. I'm going to be wrinkly. I'm going to have dreads. Like, I don't really care. <laughs> You may think that I will by that point, but I feel pretty secure in who I am, and I'm not so worried about that. What else are people going to ask about? Do they hurt? Yes. <laughs> I think they all hurt. If somebody tells you that they like it, they're lying. Um, they all hurt. Some places, spots just are more sensitive than others. So like the throat is probably one of the worst. I felt like I was like choking right in that center spot. And it's just uncomfortable. Like you have to be like fully <laughs> stretched out in order to do it. So yeah, that was a hard one. My shin was definitely rough. <laughs> so... I think that's it for today's video. Hopefully that was satisfying for those of you that wanted to see this. And let me know if you think I should actually video this tattoo removal process because my appointment is next week. Do you guys wanna see it? I think it's gonna be gross. All right, thank you for being here week three. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week.